Good morning, YouTube. All right, so just got my razor back. We're going to bring it down here in the lower part of the yard where there's going to be shade most of the day, even though it's pretty cool out, so perfect day for this. So we'll get that moved down there and we'll get started on these harnesses. All right, so I got everything set up. Um, I was in the middle of figuring out what tools I need, but I noticed that I have to take some stuff apart that should be in the video to get every size. So we're going to go into the first person view here really quick and uh, start tearing into this thing. All right, guys. Well, I tried to get started and figure out um, what bolts and nuts were on here as per sizes. So I feel found out that I need to take off um, certain stuff to get to certain nuts and bolts. So I will just have to figure them out as I go. But the first step, obviously, pull your seat out. After. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to take this out. So we're gonna pop these clips, um, undo that right there, this clip, this clip, and there's probably another clip right there. And so we'll undo those really quick. So that way we can get those um, buckles out of there. Wherever I put that tool bag. Maybe, maybe. Bueller. Bueller. The fuck? Nerp. Nerp, not back there. In the shadow there, I couldn't see it. Okay. So. this torx head and this torx head is um, the right size for the little kit that you get with your razor so no big deal on not having the right part or right tool there if you don't have the right tool for this then uh, somebody stole your toolkit or you lost it either way And they're not in there very tight, pretty pretty easy to pull out there. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this other seat out of the way. Much better. <laughs> Jesus, longest threads ever. That's done. So we'll pull these these clips here. And they're just get you a little screwdriver, maybe two little screwdrivers, and then a pick or whatever. Oops. Thank you. 
freaking clips are a pain in the ass. Never had ones like this before. Go around the other side. Let's see if I can't get these things to. There we go. I'm gonna throw all those down there. And I don't know if you have to pull these out like I am to make this work or if you can just pop the tops loose. <laughs> Excuse me, and then just pull, but I'm just used to pulling the clips all the way out so that way when you um pull everything off they don't fall out and you lose them and then you have to find them again so yeah push these little rubber boots out and then this whole console comes out oh, and here's that uh, that connector down here I'll show you see there's that connector and it just goes right down in there we can actually do that right now wherever it is I put it I don't remember Oh, yep, up here. Okay. So all you're gonna do there, I know you can't see because my fat hands are in the way, but uh, right there at the edge of my ratchet is the connector. And so you're gonna plug it in and uh, should be good. Ta -da. That's it right there for that. Down here on the spool, underneath here, right there, that freaking guy um, is a Torx head. Well, I thought that I needed a Torx head. I come to find out it is press fitted into the spool. So, literally, all you have to do is get a wrench in there and turn it or ratchet whatever you need I recommend a shallow socket um, don't remember I think it's a 19 millimeter yes pretty sure it's a 19 millimeter so um, a deep well socket will not fit in that hole in there um, definitely not on the passenger side as you can see I got the harnesses in on the passenger side because um, it's been kicking my ass, so I figured I'd get one side done before I actually start doing the how-to. Um, so, on the passenger side, it's uh, you got the filler neck like right down in there. Um, I'll undo it for you guys so you can see it. I'll pull this seat out. So, yeah, you got your filler neck right here, so good luck getting a bolt or a, 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 a wrench or anything on that bolt. Kind of a pain in the ass, so, but, um, I, uh, I got this side done, so I'm going to jump over to the driver's side, and uh, we'll start walking you guys through it little by little. Oh, there it is. So... I'm using a 5 8 
um, on this nut. And I should probably pull this off so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing, I guess. So if you have a soft top, obviously, unwrap it from your point here. Get that out of the way. And all it is is just a uh, nut in there. You don't need a wrench on the other side. Just undo it. Ta-da. There's that side, or that one. Just push the nut through the side there. Pull that washer off of it. Um, and then uh, you need to grab your 13 millimeter and uh, socket and wrench but I'm using an adjustable wrench because I'm just going off of the kit that I have in my razor all the tools that I would normally have here are at work so kind of limited Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. Um, give me one sec. I'm going to go grab my little uh, tool to pull these stupid little rivets out. Okay, so what I was doing was using this little pick here. Just this little tiny fucker. And this screwdriver. But I ended up stabbing myself in the hand pretty bad, started bleeding everywhere, so I gave up on the pick and got some needle nose pliers and this, and honestly, probably works better than anything I've ever tried to get clips out with. So, not too bad. Um, also, in the uh, razor uh, toolkit that you get with your Polaris, um, there is this Torx head, and it does fit in here, like so. And then uh, this is so that way you can get this pulled out far enough to get a ratchet in there. Um, it doesn't have to be all the way off. I took the whole side or the other side all the way off and found out that you could have done it a lot easier but that's why I'm doing this, so that way you guys don't have to. But uh, let me get this all popped apart and we'll uh, show you everything that I did. And what I did was I pulled, there's a hole here, a here, there's one right, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a hole here, and all it is are these little push clips. So, um, yeah, you just pull the top out and pull this out. Um, I do recommend a pair of pliers or flathead screwdriver, something like that. I usually get the pliers in here, like so. And uh, then I put the screwdriver in and I pry up on it and it pulls it right out. No big deal. But there is one here, down here. Um, let's see if I can't point to these better. So down here down here down there and right back here the sun's kind of jacking it up the thing it might show it better when I re review it and stuff and then uh, I pulled out this bolt right here and this bolt right here um, that way it lets it flex in and out so now we'll stick the ratchet on her. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Um. There we go. Uh, got it. And that is gone. 
no you can't reuse that bolt because like i said it is press fit in there you could probably put the nut on here smack it with a hammer knock it out but i'm not really too worried about it all right so we're going to connect this side up um the left side on the driver's side here knock all your dirt and crap off of there um and so what i did is i took the uh bolt that came from up there um from the original seat belt because this doesn't come with mounting hardware um as per bolts or anything so i pretty much just using all the stock stuff you could run down and go get you a uh um bolt that fits that but uh honestly this works just as fine no big deal they're lock nuts so it's perfect but she's gonna feed that through the back here and you're gonna want to put your um nut on the um seat belt side and you're gonna put this um seat belt closest or on this flat side right here uh, i found that's the best way to do it and uh that way you get everything up against each other nice and um tight and yeah so you'll just take your uh, 19 or oops, wrong one but yeah your 19 You just take your 19 millimeter and I put this at kind of like a, a 45 degree angle on here so just uh, snug everything up And on all these, I've noticed on pretty much every single one of these, the uh, bolts that they do are tight from factory, like super freaking tight. Like they found the biggest guy they could. Just tighten everything they down, down. And uh, so I've been cranking on them pretty hard. So, and then uh, we'll go ahead to the other side here. All right. So now we're going to go on to the other side, uh, on the right side, closest to the shifter there. I took the boot off of the um, buckle side there, or not the buckle side. Yeah, sure, the buckle side, whatever the hell the thing's called. But I'm going to take it and do the same thing that I did with the other side, and I'm just going to split it. Doesn't look perfect, doesn't have to, but... And then uh, I didn't split it all the way down. I'll, uh, when I put this on here, just like this one, um, it's gonna, it'll pull itself through and stay tight and everything like that. And then I'll go cut the top off this really quick. See, there's the pieces left over from the other one. a little bit off the top there open it up <sighs> I realize yes I'm gonna have to feed this back through um, when I go to put the center console on but not really a big deal I have to undo those anyways so all right and then so once again what I did here I took the stock mounting bolt that was originally in that spot and the way it was when i got it was the bolt was like this well i am putting it this way and putting the harness up against that so i mean you don't have to do it like that you can do it however the hell you want that's just how i'm doing it I think that's the best route to go just because 
that bolt's a pain in the ass um, to get to anyways, as it is. And same thing, I kind of cocked these a little sideways. But that bolt is just a pain already, as it is. So, to... Uh, here on these stock pieces but as it turns out they are made for a harness called click six or yeah click six made by Polaris and they don't sit right when you bolt regular harnesses up on them so all you gotta do is just take it wrap it around the bar figure out, you know, roughly where you want everything. And it looks pretty good-ish. You know, maybe a little bit more down. Then we'll readjust everything. You just want to make these as tight as possible. And you just feed them back through. So there's that side, and do the next side. Pull them down, flip it over, feed it through, blah, 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 same shit. I think uh, tomorrow is when I will actually, uh, you know, fit these to uh, to me and maybe my wife, depending on what we got going on. You know, she's got a busy day tomorrow, so we'll see. You know, and then just double check everything's sitting correctly, and nothing's gonna get tangled up and so on and so forth, but um, now we can, now that we're sure that everything's all good and not tangled up, take our clips and we will put them one in here, just push down real easy. Have one more yep, right here. Push that beast in there. And you might need to 
take your screwdriver and your pliers push it in there so you gotta pull this apart so that way we can feed it through the center console there we'll just let that sit right there get everything pushed away. make sure we got all those clips sweet and then you just slide it over top here we'll pass these through right here So, make sure that they're facing the right way. Pull your shifter boot up. Little sleeves that fit in that side. That should be, yep, they went in. Put the belts out. So you got two push clips up here. Just those two right there. You got a push clip on each side. And the one on the front in the middle there. And you also have these little bolts that go in there okay all tight now we'll do the shifter boot talking a boot I don't know if there's a certain way it goes. That seems right. It's pretty easy, just poking it down there. There's a little groove that goes in. So, good to go. Uh, I think that's how it should go. Same thing for the seat belts. Put those in. Nothing super fancy with the cut pieces I did. And you don't have to do that. You can leave them open wherever you want. I just figured the more you can get it closed up, the less dust it'll end up in your cab. You'll just take these, wrap them back through here. These are spring loaded, so you just push down on it. And try to <laughs> feed a corner in. Maybe, maybe. like so and there she is good to go all right so we got everything put in we got uh, the seats in everything's all uh, done up and put back together and that's the uh, ending result right there kind of nice uh, I got them all adjusted up up in here um, if any of you want to know how to tie these straps or adjust them properly to get them to sit on you uh, correctly um, or fit you correctly sit on you sounds kind of dirty <laughs> anyways um, 
just let me know. I'll uh, help you out, explain it, or uh, even show you the little diagrams that I went through to get them all nice and tight and fit correctly and get symmetrical. Uh, the first one was kind of a bitch, but uh, it ended up working out. So, not really a hard install, pretty easy. Um, it's a lot easier if you don't have the tools, or if you do have the tools, I didn't have all of the correct tools to make the job as easy as possible but um, at the same time I'm also kind of showing you guys that this can be done with uh, pretty much next to nothing you can do this install with bare minimum tools um, and uh, be okay Let's see if I can do this one-handed story of my life with this whole vlogging crap you don't realize how much you need both hands to do stuff until you start doing stuff. So, I'm liking that latch system quite a bit I like that um, yeah so I mean it fits pretty good feel pretty snug um, I know a lot of people's big concern um, with harnesses is not being able to reach anything but uh, I can reach everything on my dash my steering wheel you know, um, I can't reach all the way up to my windshield like I used to be able to. That's okay. Um, don't really need to do that anyways. So, um, yeah, I mean, really no complaints yet. I'm going to go take it out for a quick ride just to see how it feels. And, um, yeah. All right, guys. Just got back from the test ride just to see how they would fit. Um, I do have a few things that I'm curious or concerned about or whatever you may call it um, definitely first off I need to get some mirrors because when you are going to the seat you cannot turn around I mean you can pretty much just turn your head you can't stick your arm out and look back and all that good stuff it, it restricts you quite a bit I mean it's doing what it's supposed to so there's nothing wrong with that um, but I do need to see when I'm going backwards so also another thing is I don't know if I can add some padding or um, maybe you know make the edges a little bit softer or maybe it's just because I'm fat I don't know but uh, that leather piece actually uh, cuts into you pretty bad it pushes pushes into your stomach and like I said I don't know if it's just me might have to have a couple of my skinnier friends come over and check them out but uh, so far so good real good padding um, it feels really nice it doesn't hurt whenever you jump or land or turn a corner or you know hit some gnarly bumps or make a really hard stop so that's good um, what else not a whole lot else um, I guess time will tell and see if there's any other complaints I have about them but honestly so far so good um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about how I did something, something I might have missed, or, you know, um, something that you might want to try different for yourself, and I'll try to help you out in any way I can. But uh, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Definitely uh, share this to anybody that's looking to put harnesses in their ride, and uh, like it, comment subscribe all that good stuff so we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching